Hi, welcome back. Um, a friend of mine uh, presented a challenge to me. Um, he wanted to know, he bought this uh, Roku 3, you know, to give to his parents so they can, you know, use it to stream. But but the, the challenge that he gave me was, is how can, like, how can he use this to you know, be able to stream stuff to his TV without having an internet connection? So he said, like, so he just, like, gave me the box and said, here, go figure it out. And so here it is, the Roku 3. You can open the box. You know, we got manual product information. Here's the here's the box. All this has a USB port. Uh, Ethernet, uh, just a regular wired Ethernet power. Uh, HDMI output has a slot for an SD card. And pretty much that's all it is. To give you a little bit, a little remote with some pretty decent batteries. You got some headphones with some other some additional um, little rubber things to, for yours. And it also gives you a uh, power adapter. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put the batteries in the, in the remote. And already I'm, I'm getting a, a little green blinking light. Um, I already went ahead. Um, I grabbed the HDMI cable that's going to my uh, my monitor. I, already, I plugged it in. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plug in the power cord to the Raku. Let's see what come. See what comes up. Come on. Oh, so we got a, we got a status light coming up on here. Okay, so okay. hopefully we got something. On the screen here. All right, it looks like the, the remote is synced up. It just kind of did it automatically. I didn't have to press anything on it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to select English. I'm assuming I'm going to hit... Let's see. I'm assuming I'm going to hit OK. OK. OK, continue. Okay, looks like uh, this one worked. Do the update. Continue. All right, let's, let's try setting the time zone. Let's close off. After doing some research, um, there is a link that you can go to to sign up for an account that doesn't require any uh, uh, payment information. Um, the link is uh, owner.raku.com slash sign up dash no cc. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go create my fake account.
All right, so so the, the site doesn't look any different, um, other than on the bottom for this link. This one includes a little skip link. The one that that um, that we saw on the page of where the recruit tells you to go to raku.com dash link. It doesn't have a way to skip the uh, skip the credit card, but here you can. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click skip. Okay, let's see some channels. Um, one of the things I heard um, that was suggested to add if we're going to do this off the internet is using a, uh, this channel called Plex. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to uh, click Add Channel. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, yeah, for most everything else, this should this should work. So I'm going to hit continue. Okay, it says we're done. Happy streaming. Automatically, um, while your recruits hooked up the internet, it just um, it's ar it already got notified, so it's getting all the, the channel updates and everything that it needs. Okay, let's see what it does now. Um, after a little bit of poking around, um, it looks like you might not need uh, Plex. Um, one of the channels that are available is this uh, Raku Media Player. Uh, this Raku Media Player that lets you um, um, play media or look at photos and stuff off of a USB drive. So what I'm gonna do is. On here, I put in. Uh, I think I said earlier, I put on one song that's available uh, for YouTube creator, you know, for YouTube creators. Um, it's free music that it's um, so so you don't have to worry about you know actually you know, trying out the uh, copyrighted movie uh, music. Otherwise, the the YouTube bots will, will come after me and like tag my uh, my video, and I also threw in a. Uh, one of my other YouTube videos on here. So we're going to go ahead. So we'll open up this Raku Media Player. You can get this from the, the channel store. So click on video, external, search as my USB drive. Uh, put my my forward focus tying belt video on here. We'll see what happens. Uh, play. I don't like it. I'm um, probably need a different video. All right, let me try this again. Uh, earlier, I was having some some issues with one of the video files I was going to use to demo this, so I reprocessed it through uh, Handbrake and see if it worked better. Let's do it. Try. See, it seems to be working so far uh, with this. So I guess as long as it can stream from a USB device, I'll, uh, I'm not going to worry about using uh, Plex. And to give it a tr uh, suggested audio, 
um, on the side it has you know little headphones. So if I so when I list you can so you can kind of if I hold this up to the microphone you can kind of hear the, uh, some noise coming out of the headphones. So it is streaming audio. So they can. so uh, for my next test. I'm going to do is I'm going to take this upstairs to the TV and unhook it from the internet. So I'm going to turn off the hotspot and see if it works from there. I brought my Rakub upstairs to uh, hooked up to our, our television and entertainment uh, center equipment. Um, I hooked up the HDMI to a receiver. Um, I haven't plugged it in yet. It's all set to go. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plug it in. So we should get something shortly. And we are getting some audio as well to HDMI, which is good. I want to boot up. Um, right now it has no internet connection, so the only meat I, I have available is just on this thumb drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it into the USB port. So I'll just go ahead and select the media player. Just going to go ahead and pick a video. External. Uh, my Ford Focus uh, YouTube video that I made a while ago. Okay, so actually remembers where I started from. So we'll play it from the beginning. Hey, this is Harry. Right now I'm working on my 2004 Ford Focus. It's a single overhead cam. You know, I think we called it a, has the uh, SPI engine in it. And right now I'm having some kind of uh, Engine vibration issues. Here, I'll turn it on. Maybe you can hear it. It's a little loud. So yeah. So it looks like it works out pretty well. Uh, I'm going back out of this. Vibrating the car. Maybe we can hear it. Back out a bit. You can also do uh, audio. So there's a, a little oh, 20 minutes. Oh, interesting. All right. So there's like a free song off the YouTube libraries. Now that I'll post down in the, in the description of the all the, the file types that this. That this thing could play because there's, there's very few like this uh, the actual video has to be very very specific standards so um, as earlier I was having issues with my uh, with my Ford Focus time belt engine mount video so I had to use handbrake to convert it into the right format that this thing could uh, understand um, I'll, I'll post the link to uh, handbrake as well it, it works pretty well for, you know, doing conversions and stuff. All right, so back out of this. So that's pretty much it. All right, thanks for watching.